Welcome back. 18 lecturers from six universities across the six geopolitical regions in Nigeria are to be trained on the use of open-end text seismic interpretation uh, software. This will equip them with the skills needed to then train uh, geology students. Uh, Helen Osamide Akins reports. Nigeria is a petroleum-rich country and an oil and gas producing member of the Organization of Petroleum Corporations since 1969. The advent of oil production turned Nigeria from a multi-sectoral economy to a mono-economy, with oil and gas providing about 95% of export earnings and 70% of government revenue. But only a few of its citizens are involved in this sector. Employers in the oil and gas sector have often claimed that Nigerian youth do not have the right skills to be employed in this sector. In closing this gap, some Nigerian lecturers have been selected to undergo special training on the latest software that are used for the interpretation of scientific data. Thinking academia with the oil and gas industry to collaborate with the universities in modifying science, technology, engineering, and mathematics STEM-based courses to align with industry skills requirements. This intervention is to ensure that we have quality graduates coming out of Nigerian universities. And if we have quality graduates coming out of Nigerian universities, there will be no reason for Exxon Mobil to complain they cannot have Nigerians to hire to work or uh, people from the Niger Delta to work. For these lecturers who have been picked for the pilot scheme, they believe the training will open doors for more geoscientists in the country. Most of our oil companies were never, because it is important that they must employ Nigerians, they go out there in, in foreign universities to go and recruit. But the moment we are, able, we are exposed to, to this type of training and we pass that knowledge to our students, they too they'll be able to compete with their foreign trained counterparts. It will help me deliver my lectures better, it will expand my knowledge border and I would be able to um, lay hands on life data, to get trained, to interpret data, life data and this also is a transition from the theory that the universities have been doing. By the end of the training, it is expected that there will be an increase in the employment potentials of students after graduation, thereby reducing their exposure to violence and criminal activities. Helen Osameda Akins, TVC News, Abuja.